fire truck plows into at least 10 parked cars on a Brooklyn street. The moment of impact so powerful, a car landed on top of another. CBS 2's Valerie Castro live now at the scene in Brownsville. Valerie, this really could have been so much worse. That's certainly true, Christine. And when you take a look at the scene behind me, it's hard to believe no one was killed and no pedestrians were hit. One witness says it's clear something was wrong behind the wheel when the fire engine lurched forward. The force it took to toss these cars up on top of each other came from the fire engine you see smashed into the whole mess. It could have been a tragedy. This man was driving behind the fire truck when he says the driver crossed the double yellow line on East New York Avenue near St. Mark's Avenue and slammed into a row of parked cars. One car was left with its back tire completely twisted up and underneath the vehicle. When the truck was in front of me, it was like ran to the left, and I was wondering why, how did, why was the truck going to the left towards the building? So, come to find out, I guess we lost control of the uh, fire truck and crash. The FDNY says 10 to 15 cars were damaged when the firefighter who was driving had a medical episode behind the wheel. The loud collision, enough to startle Vanessa Hernandez, who was inside her apartment at the time. To me, it sounded like almost like um, the beginning of a thunderstorm. Once she came outside, she realized the noise was not made by Mother Nature. This is crazy. Like, I've seen my fair share of accidents. But I've never seen an accident like this. Crazy. Scary. It was scary, man. Because it could be could have been kids out there, anything, man. No pedestrians were injured, but the firefighter who was driving was pulled out and taken to the hospital in serious condition. It's unclear if the truck was responding to an emergency call, but witnesses say they did not see lights or hear sirens at the time. And sources tell us that firefighter had a seizure behind the wheel. There were four other firefighters riding along at the time they were treated for minor injuries. Reporting live from Brownsville, Brooklyn, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News.